The Edge Morning Madhouse. If you go here for the Comedy Festival, full details, comedyfestival.co.nz. Steve Coogan, welcome to New Zealand, my friend. Thank you very much. Wow. I can't believe you're here. Nah. I can't yeah. believe I'm here. <laughs> yeah, we, you know, we, we get to interview so many you know, musicians and famous people when they come through, but I'm actually kind of nervous this morning. I'm just stoked oh, to be in your well, presence. I hope that works in my favour. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're just a, an, an incredible man. I was telling Mike some of the stuff you've done, you know, Alan Partridge and Saxondale and so much other stuff. <laughs> so well, much other stuff. Well, <laughs> dot, dot, yeah, dot. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can, you can, you can Google the rest yeah. um, <laughs> or YouTube it, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's good. It's, I'm very excited to be here on this, uh, you know, uh, um, I've not done live work for about 10 years and, uh, and, any, and the people who know my stuff and know what to expect, they're going to get, they'll get it in a, uh, live on stage. You know? Right. So if you haven't done live work in about 10 years, have you been practicing, <laughs> you know, your live, this show that you've brought here? Like, who do you practice in front of? Uh, well, I, I practiced it for three months in front of the British uh, to get it dead, dead in, in perfect shape for the New Zealanders. And the nice. Uh, so, so, um, uh, so, yeah, it's in good shape. Hey, uh, Bob, Bob. <laughs> oh, my God, my chair just dropped oh, four cheers. inches. <laughs> now, these, these chairs... Uh, it's a lie detector the, test. <laughs> this, uh, this studio is about yeah. a, a year old, and we, we managed to get this built just before the recession kicked in. Uh, these chairs are, like, from some fancy architectural design store. 800 bucks each. Really, They yeah. don't work. No, they're psychologically good, because I just took myself down four inches which is <laughs> yeah. in case you needed to do that with anyone and have you been to New Zealand before? Uh, never never been to New Zealand oh wow never, never, yeah I'm, I'm, the southern hemisphere is pretty uh, unfamiliar to me so so yeah this is uh, you know I've got some uh, I've got some folks here I'm, some I'm folks? Gonna, so well some relatives what? who I'm going to hook up with really? Oh, who, who and where? Uh, well, they're called Coogan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, there's some in Auckland, there's some in Wellington, and some in uh, Christchurch. Oh, oh my God. Is there any relatives of Steve listening right now? Please call us, 0800 The Edge. Because we broadcast nationwide, you see, Steve, they might be listening in Wellington or Christchurch. <laughs> this yeah. could be dangerous. Yeah. I've, got, I've got to call them, yeah. I've got their numbers in my diary. I've got, to, I've, got to, I've got to pick up the phone to them. They're going to show me around, apparently, so. Oh, nice. See, but you're the, you're the famous one in the family. They should be calling you. You shouldn't be making the calls. <laughs> oh, no, you should they're, be they're, sitting back. It's like they've called my people. Right. Right. <laughs> I haven't spoken to them personally yet. It's okay. The status is fine. Oh, oh, you you're, 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 you've only just found out you're related to right. them, is that right? No, no, no. They, 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 all, they have all been over to over the, to, the, to, to our slot in, in England, but we know mm. I'm the first one who's sort of right. been over here, I think. Right. So, and, and how long are you in the country for? Uh, just over a week. Right. So, do you have your family come and stay at your house and sleep on your couch, or? Uh, we, yeah, more or less. But we've got we've got a spare room. But yeah, we've done all that. Yeah, yeah, really? yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, but uh, I won't be. Uh, I haven't got my sleeping bag, so I'm going to have to stay in the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> And do you manage to get around? I, I, I guess you don't know because you've only been in the country for about 12 hours, but so far have you managed well, to get go, well, around without being recognised too well, much? Uh, without being recognised? I think yeah. I could just run down the street naked and no one stop me. <laughs> um, uh, uh, no, I mean, yeah, I, I, over here, it, it's, I'm really not, I'm only sort of known on a kind of cult level, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty famous, I suppose, in England and uh, in Ireland. Uh, I'm getting well known in, in, in America because of movies. Mm. Um, but uh, but generally, um, no. I, it's it's kind of this is all real sort of virgin territory for me. Yeah, and Ben. Ben. Speaking of your movies, yeah, Ben still is a big fan of your work, and that's mm -hmm. um, definitely helping. You've been in Tropic Thunder with him, Night uh, at the Museum too. Yeah, yeah, and and the first one, I've done yeah. three movies with him. Right. Um, and uh, yeah, there, there's a lot. Of, I've got there's a lot of people in the industry who are kind of like hugely successful in, in Hollywood who like me. Um, which is the next <laughs> next best thing to being hugely successful in Hollywood. Um, <laughs> it's just like uh, so. I'm trying to grab onto all their coattails, you know, and right. uh, see, see what happens. But it's, it's yeah. I mean, things are things are starting to happen out there, and, and TV, TV and movies are great fun and everything. But uh, uh, it doesn't quite beat the uh, the buzz of uh, smelling a live crowd. Mm. What you said, you were quite famous in the UK. What's it like for you there? Do you get hounded by the press? Do you have to live in a gated uh, community? You know that sort uh, of stuff. <laughs> I mean, I you know I, I use the tube and I use I, I I travel on the underground and all that. I just sort of uh, I just stare at a newspaper and pull my baseball cap down over my <laughs> eyes and uh, and uh, don't make eye contact. You know, uh, but uh, but it's it's it, I mean you know I, I do regular things, but I suppose if I, there's certain ways that you can get when you become well known, well known or recognisable. You develop techniques, aversion techniques. Uh, like what? Well, like, um, for example, I know that if there's a guy, there's a bunch of guys coming down the road who are aged between 20 and 40, <laughs> and they they look like they've, they're, they're sort of fairly cool, that I'm going to get recognised. Whereas if, so I'll try and avoid eye contact and look at, look at the shop, look at the shop fronts and, and, and not look in their eyes. Whereas if there's a bunch of, uh, 
70-year-old blue rinses or, 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 uh, or, or uh, well, basically any attractive women. I know that there's no way they're going to recognise me. Mm. <laughs> so uh, I, can, I can look them dead on. Okay, if, if, there, if, there, if, there was a, if there was a car load of young guys driving past, what would they be likely to yell out? Uh, they'd I, they'd yell, probably yell out, aha, uh, which is <laughs> Alan, Alan Partridge's sort of catchphrase, which might sound, sound bizarre to anyone who doesn't know, but uh, it's based on the ABBA song, Knowing Me, Knowing You, aha. Um, so he, 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 they tend to shout that in the street a lot. <laughs> and, um, and I'm guessing you hear a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, very average, I'm Alan, I'm Alan Partridge uh, uh, impersonations. Yeah, yeah you, they tend to back off on the impersonation when they're staring me in, uh, in, in the face. Um, but they do, they do shout aha, and they shout, they shout the, the name Dan over and over from an episode where I, I shouted the word Dan. This all sounds really steep. <laughs> <laughs> this guy does comedy. Why do I want to go and see this guy? He's all about saying the same thing over and over again. Um, it all makes sense when you're there anyway um, on, on, when, I'm, when I'm on stage it will do